Hey, Rage Nation, it's Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage, Oklahoma News, and it is about that time. Roll in the Cage 8 is coming up September 29th. Rage in the Cage 95 is following on that Saturday night. And this guy right here is Raphael Hayashida. And I'm so excited to interview you. You are going to be competing in the Roll in the Cage right. event that's going down in Stillwater. It's our first time there. And is it also your first time competing for Rage in the Cage? It will be, yes, my first time in this event, but I have did some AGF before in some events in Brazil, too. Okay, and I want to tell our fans that you are learning English and you're doing a phenomenal job. You are from Brazil, the home of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so you're competing in a traditional Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gi bout, is that correct? Correct. Tell me a little bit about how long you've been training. Well, I've been training for about five years. I started training in Brazil, and in 2019, before the pandemic, I came here as a visiting scholar, and I met uh, Edgar, Coach Edgar, and I, I, I stay here for about six months, pressing with Edgar, and then I had to return to my country. And last year, I got a job here, and I knew that I would press, I will return pressing with Coach Edgar. And are you still studying here at the university? I'm actually working right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So, what is your, um, what do you do for a living? What is your expertise? Okay, I am now a postdoc in the Department of Entomology. I got my PhD in Brazil. Um, I have a background in agronomy, and now I'm studying insects as pests. Well, you know, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but my family also studied insects, but they studied the art of exterminating insects. And so as sad as that is mm -hmm. <laughs> for somebody that loves and studies insects, probably. Yes, I am also uh, work with uh, the control but also with the management, not only using insecticides, but using different tools for managing the insects in general. Wonderful. I mean, gardeners out there everywhere would be happy to know you, right? Of course, yes. <laughs> All right. So is there anything that you could say about what got you in, like the, the top thing that got you into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? It's... I think it's uh, a good exercise for our brains, not only uh, for our bodies, but it keeps me uh, always looking for some technique, some different things, N not only working out with my body, but also with my mind. And it, I think this is the best thing for about Jiu-Jitsu. You know, I find that very interesting that you said that because it's so true when it comes to jujitsu, you're in, um, you know, you're about to get submitted, for example, and your mind is always having to really stay sharp and think about, okay, what can I do to control this? What can I do to get out of this? Is that correct? That's perfect. Yes. <laughs> Once you're submitted in some technique, you're looking for avoiding this mistake for the next time and you are always trying to improve your positions your base and your technique in general and did you also train um jiu-jitsu brazilian jiu-jitsu when you were in brazil yes i started training in brazil and um about five years ago and i'm, I'm moving a lot in brazil but every place i I live, I try to find a good academy, a good place to practice, especially a place that I can feel myself comfortable and safe because this is not my my job. This is just my hobby, just a thing that I do for fun and to keep my my health, my body health. So I don't want to get injury on that, especially training every day. So that's that's I'm looking for in an academy. So basically when a place that I feel comfortable, safe, and I feel that the coach is a good coach. 
Well, and it honestly speaks a lot to the volume of the jiu-jitsu that you get here at Jiu-Jitsu Academy of Stillwater that somebody that is from Brazil would want to train here, in my opinion. It really speaks very highly of this gym. Of course. Coach Edgar is the best. Sounds good. As far as jiu-jitsu goes, this is just for a hobby and training. So your aspirations, are you desiring to move up in belt levels or what's your ultimate goal? Uh, my ultimate goal is practicing jiu-jitsu for my whole life. And I think belt is just a consequence. It's not the destination. It's just something that will happen uh, soon, sooner or later. But my... My goal is just keep practicing the whole life. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys, Rage in the Cage, for uh, listening to these pre-fight interviews. And I hope you come out and watch this guy. He's going to be competing on the Roll in the Eight card, which is Friday, September 29th. That's going to be followed by the Rage in the Cage card on Saturday, September 30th. You can get tickets from this guy right here if he needs any paper tickets. If you'd like to get those, um, I can provide them for him or you can get them on stubware.com. Be sure to click down on the list so that these fighters get some compensation for um, you purchasing tickets. Tickets. But overall, we hope to see you guys there for the Rage Nation weekend. And if you can't make it, we are working today to get everything up and going for our live Fight TV broadcast. So we'll, we'll see you then. We're going to rage it up. <laughs>